If you get patellar tendon pain and you get your knee imaged with ultrasound or MRI, you're going to find structural abnormalities. But what happens when you take the same images of top-level basketball players who have no knee pain? I'm going to talk about three studies. In this Nancy Major study, they had 17 college basketball players, 12 men, 5 women. Nobody had knee pain. Eight of the knees showed a signal in the patellar tendon, which is 24%. In this Brian Walzak study, they had 14 NBA players. Nobody had knee pain. They said that there were patellar tendon abnormalities in 11 of the knees, which is 39%. In this George Pappas study, they had 24 Division I college basketball players, 12 men, 12 women. Nobody had knee pain. Patellar tendon abnormalities were found in 20 knees, which were 83% of them. And quadriceps tendinopathy were found in 18 knees, which were 75%. So this is all to say, don't obsess over your imaging. If you play sport at a high level and you've been playing for years, the structural abnormalities are normal. If you're going to distinguish patellar tendon pain from something else, you need to use other signs, which I've covered in this video.